Hello, this is Ramirez with Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. I'm here with Christine, our head instructor. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Destreza, um, Spanish rapier, and left versus right. We're going to take a couple steps back so that you can see us in frame. And this today we're going to deal with the Tahoe. Not Tahoe, that's like if you see my uh, great sword videos, we're going to talk about an Atajo. It's a circling attack in which you take advantage of your leverage to enter um, into an attack. In this case, in Destreza, she's going to extend her blade. Now, if I'm a right-hander, and she's a right-hander, I have the mechanical leverage of force. In other words, I'm dropping this point and turning her outside of the line and taking advantage to commit a thrust. I can do this either side. So in, that, in this case, I was on the inside line, a Tahoeing taking her out of line and entering into my attack. I can do the same thing by taking her, I'm already on the inside line, moving her to the outside and continuing my attack. In a righty to righty or lefty to lefty, this works. However, lefty to righty, if I attempt this, she can very well follow over and commit to an attack. So as I move her out of line, she follows through, she's going to have that advantage. By the same token, if I'm here, if I attempt to move her out of line, stepping off of my line, she can extend that attack. So the Atajo doesn't tend to work well or to the advantage of someone who's left-handed. Now, once again, this is also true for the right-hander. So if you see someone in tournament or fights that commonly uses a Tahoe's, they're not going to work well for them. And if they know to do it, all you need to know is go around because it doesn't work out. So this is something where I'm not saying don't train your Atajo because you could run across another lefty and that'll work out really well. If you're a righty, it normally works well against right-handers. That's who it was designed for. So once again, just to kind of clarify how this works, if they have their blade straight forward, what I want to do is I want to have a, a little bit more raise, about 60 degrees. And what I'm doing is I'm letting my point, I'm making a circle, moving them out of line and extending my position. So that's that from the outside, uh, from the inside, so, or sorry, she's on the outside, we're both on the outside of each other. I'm gonna make a circle, I'm gonna just drop my blade, bring it across, and extend. Moving toward, in this case, um, my right. So that's a quick review of the Atajo, what the strengths and the weaknesses of it are. Uh, when you're a left-hander, works really well against other left-handers, who may not very well practice it because Against righties, it really doesn't work. So it's kind of a good thing to have in our bag. But be aware, if we really attempt it against a right-handed person, that's going to be problematic. By that being true, a right-hander who consistently uses Tahoes, if they attempt it on a left-hander, may have problems. So it might be a good idea to keep track of who does and who doesn't do this technique. Once again, I'm Ramirez. This is Christine. We're both instructors here at Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. I'll leave a link below if you're interested in our club, and um, if we don't see you here, we'll see you in the next video.